So it's really important at the beginning of every divorce case to really look at the whole picture of the assets and work out whether we can categorize some as non-marital and you know see what what is definitely marital and therefore available for sharing because the court will will automatically assume that those matrimonial assets that are you know even if they're held in one party's name if they were grown up during the course of the marriage they are there and they're available for sharing and so really our work is in trying to classify which depending on which side of the case we're arguing really to identify what is or what is not non-matrimonial property which could be outside of the pot for sharing and it will only be brought back in if there's a real needs argument for it um, and so for example non-matrimonial property might be money that was inherited from you know family members and is, is therefore uh, and not intermingled into the pot um, that you know the house that they live in or anything else which they which they utilize during the marriage it might also be a business that already exists before uh, the marriage began um, and therefore you know we, we, we do a lot of work on trying to make sure that any subsequent growth is also attributed to that non-matrimonial period um, because of the efforts made before the marriage took place um, and so those are the areas where, you know, a lot of work needs to be done to identify what property was bought before the marriage to make sure that there's no sort of intermingling or trace through where it assists our client's case, trace through any intermingling of those assets to make them matrimonial. Um, and so that's a lot of work that goes into that early part of the case. Mm -hmm.